Hey everyone, welcome to Afterwards. Um, we fought the Hawkborn Rangers. Uh, so, uh, the Hawkborn Rangers was an idea that someone had, uh, someone online had suggested to me. And um, I mulled it over and I was like, yeah, I would love to do that. That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, we talked about doing them in Merrington. After Rasper was kicked out, I was like, oh, the Hawkborn Rangers, maybe Kristoff will start that. Well, then I had this idea, again, continuing my five bad band. This is the, the dark chick, uh, who is a counterpoint to our own, uh, our own in our five, bad, or our five man band, our chick, which is Clarion. Clarion is our chick. Um, so she's based off of Clarion. Um, I'll get to her in a minute. But when I was coming up with the idea for her, I was like, oh my goodness, and she takes command of the Hawkborn Rangers. Uh, so then I balanced the encounter to take that into effect, um, and it was a lot of fun. Um, I really liked uh, this combat. Um, I think it taught our PCs a lot about tactics and stuff. Uh, everyone's kind of been unorganized and sort of just doing their own thing, like picking which enemies are theirs to fight, and they just kind of go in and they like throw everything they got at them. But um, that doesn't exactly work, uh, as we learned, because it puts some people in some bad situations, um, or you can't necessarily do some awesome things because people are in the way. Um, and I think that's good. That's great that we're learning this and that the party is going to now move on from this and like be even better uh, because of learning this information. Um, so... Yes, uh, we had Darius, we got to Merrington. We sort of learned that not everything is so hunky-dory in Merrington. Um, we didn't get to see Gregory this session. Um, I'm gonna have to fit that in next time. Um, maybe I can finagle some things. Um, but uh, Gregory is in Merrington. Um, he is not very pleased with Christine, of course, because she had Easterton on a silver platter. Um, and she gave it away to um, House uh, Sue Easter, which he and his family are pissed about that because um, remember the whole reason that they kind of married Christine in the first place was to get some strategic points settled out for the coming battle against uh, Easter. And this could have been a huge win for them, um, but all of a sudden it's no more. Uh, so... Uh, greatly upset about that, but we didn't get to see him. Um, I was planning on doing that in this episode, but interesting that Christine is like, uh, which I think is very telling for her character, that no, I'm going to solve the problem in my town first. We can get to my personal problems here in a minute uh, once everyone else is safe. Um, so points to Pamela for that. Um, let's see. Uh, I liked I liked actually having the party, like I kept having them tell each other, like, no, no, don't just say we fill him in. Like, fill him in. I want to hear how your character describes this and how they feel about this. And it generates some com conversation where, like, Rasper's like, no, that Kristoff wouldn't hurt a fly. Um, and, you know, we got a little bit of, of seeing a relationship that if we just glossed over, like, and we explain it to them uh, that we wouldn't have gotten, which uh, it took a little bit of time and we got the same information out over and over again, but I think it helps the players remember what their relationship is to each other, uh, in character, as opposed to just like, we're a party and we know our relationship in real life. Um, Clarion's fear was awesome. Uh, I guess I'll get to that whole fight. Um, it was fun going back to, um, back to Bully Bog, back to where it all started. Um, with the, uh, and seeing how things have changed and how we've changed, uh, going back to this Elvish temple um, and just a brand new sort of uh, look at some old stuff. Again, that's kind of what the season is about, is re-examining re the past um, and sort of where we've been uh, before we cross into whatever this new world will look like. Uh, sort of showing how far we've come already. Uh, so I've been loving that, and I loved setting it back in this room and sort of letting that come through in this moment of putting us back in the Selfish Temple, which now Vel gets to see it. And it kind of has a brand new feeling to it that we were going to get all this stuff with the Moon Goddess, and we didn't necessarily realize it when we went in there the first time. I, I retconned the name of uh, the Moon Goddess. She originally had a different name, uh, which then got shifted to Lunam. 
Uh, let's see, the battle was good. Poor Jamie. I, I'm sad that I knocked him out a second time for two in a row. That sucks being out of out of combat because um, your turn just keeps getting skipped. And I, of course, prevented Clarion from, uh, from <laughs> healing him, which I was like, why aren't we healing him? Oh, yeah, because I'm drowning Clarion. Um, <laughs> So uh, I feel bad, but I think Brian takes it very well. Um, and hopefully once we kind of change our tactics a little bit, that won't happen to him again. Uh, Vel really wanted to use his AoEs. He really should have spoken up uh, in character to be like, get out of the pool, uh, even using like a message spell or something. Um, because again, we're all acting, no one like talks to each other in battle, like, Jamie isn't like, oh, I'm hurting, come help me out. Or, you know, Christine doesn't say, I'll take everyone focus on her. You know, like, they need to talk uh, as people would if they want strategy. Otherwise, they're just going to be independent actors and they're, you know, going to independently get their asses kicked. Um, but we learned that today, and that's important. Uh, I'm glad I could teach them that lesson. Uh, the Hawkborn Rangers are great. I liked marking the little colors uh, so we remembered which one was which. Um, I think I'm going to do that in the future, actually, is mark the colors so I can tell which which bad guy is which. Um, and I love that. Um, yeah, this encounter felt good. Um, it didn't feel... They had a lot of health left to burn through to get all the bully, all the bullywugs down, but of course the Seductress was the one they needed to focus on. Um, which helped cut the combat short a little bit. This would have been a grueling combat if these were all enemy combatants. Um, but, um, yeah. So, we are two out of our five bad band. Um, we got uh, three, well, we got two more on the way. We've already met Kumbakarna. Um, so, we're going to keep on moving forward. And next time, uh, we'll continue our, our journey. Um, in the world of Threshold. This has been Afterwards. I'm Steven. Uh, follow me on Twitter and uh, just uh, if you want to ask me questions, just tweet at me about um, about different things or if you have different ideas. I, I love talking about this game with people. Um, and I hope to hear from you all. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk soon.